our best. Hello. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll just welcome. Whenever you hear me go uh, quiet, jump yeah. right in immediately. Cut me uh, off. We're we're in. all Sorry. fill. So uh, we're into the game. Hello, everybody. It is it is I, Veril, and uh, our other. Yeah, it is I, me. not Veril. I'm yes, Buffy. Yes, sir. And here we are. We've got some familiar oh, names from last right. time. Got an interesting start already. Nades coming out. They're having some fun, and we have to voice enable or voice disable so that we don't hear all their comms. I don't know. I kind of like to hear Oboe playing his team. <laughs> that that does sound like a fun thing to hear. I want to hear whoever's IGL for the CP is to say Wonder Go Kill. Yes, I'm excited to get a little bit of Wonder Cam going. But there's the first pick already. Water players, three players holding water. Oboe is the first block. Takes a few shots. He's taken down. That, that round was a lot faster than I thought it would be. Oh, they like, everyone died except for the water players right at the start. And then we got to, we got to see them just get crunched on, which, you know, it, it's tough playing there, but they still have money for the classic Mac 10 force up. Because, except yeah. For, except for one of them, but you know what? That's okay. Mm -hmm. Is it going to be a rush be no stop? They're already, they're already going that way. Absolutely. Nice nade onto nothing. I like it. Oh, there is a player there. Oh, yeah, preemptive nade to stop the push, but it won't stop it entirely. So Prism gets one in so many trades back and forth. Oh, wow. We have Obo back in water. He's got the Mac 10. Bomb goes down. He's left in the one. Three. That's the MP9 here. Does the Mac 10 stand on the We're not quite sure yet. He's dropped to seven and goes down. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, they, they were so ready for that rush, but that smoke right in their face, I believe it's the one thrown from Dumpster all the way on A, but they had to run straight through it and straight into the peak from Prism, who just mowed down the monster players. Not enough damage done by that nade, unfortunately, but here comes Prism with that upgraded A1S. No head armor. Doesn't look like he's going to need it, though, as long as he takes these long-distance fights. Yep, and long distance fights should be easy against these pistols. Very, very true. Two I'm gonna players. try to isolate close though. I think this is probably a pretty good move to go in. Uh, rushes the MP9, gets he gets taken out of 29, still finds the thing, and huh. his teammate finds the other one. That was actually a perfect swing there, trading with the player with more HP. Yeah, the whoever was there sitting in con was expecting a low player to peek out. Instead, it's DTM, still full HP, so we can find a second one. Only now traded out, but again, those two players, oh, taken down, and there's even more. So many CTs in connector this round. It seems like they like to play together. They're all playing very, very close, and the CTs just finish up the round with those last two kills. First, it was water for those first two rounds, and this, this time it's con. They just uh, go where the action is. Yeah, they're they're having a real fun time here. I uh, I'm excited now that we get the full guns out, and because enough of those SMG players went down, we have three M4s on the side of the CTs. Tons of util for both teams. So now it's just going to be a battle of who can win this out. Now that both teams are pretty even in the economy. Looks like we're going to see a pretty slow default though. Oboe's the only offer at the moment. He doesn't have any util because of it. NA nade here from Wonder. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. We got the NA Pro over here. Yep, pretty pretty slow round from the T's. Bomb is dropped into Con right now. One player, Bell, walking towards Long as a little bit of action happens. Wonder yeah. finds one of those AKs. Bell has so much map control though, there's gonna be no one here to meet him. But he has cleared all of Long and this could prompt that rotate up connector. Yeah, here they come. They're coming out fast with their AKs. We only have DTM here playing in Divider. He's got his M4. A few oh, but he's got a flash. Oh, he doesn't need it. He finds one already. Here comes the oh, 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 doesn't quite spot him, and it's left with Bell, who was last long. There he yeah. is. Yeah. The 1v5. All that map control prompts the rotate, but even then, the map control turns out for nothing because there's so many players up bathrooms. Maybe the backstab can come onto those bathrooms players. A little bit of revenge here finds the first on Desira. But that should be about all now that their position is known. They're up against four CTs. Let's see if that off gets picked up. It does. Wonder finds it. What an upgrade from that MP9. He did get a kill with the MP9, survived, and then found Oboe's off. Incredible. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're, they're farming cash, you know? 4-0. It is, it is time to farm. 
Oh, Will picks up a scout this round instead. He likes those scoped weapons, although he is 0-4. Yep, 0-4, but maybe he's just, he needs to find the right fights, you know? He might be finding one right now against his own off onto Wonder. He gets tagged up, not too much damage. Almost yeah, lucky to that. be alive. Oh, look how, look at this water play. Walking up into construction kind of quick. One player is playing Toxic. He's going to go ahead and find one. Oh, he Five gets the seconds. spammer! It's looking like a good round. Yeah, Wonder was trying to go for that wall bang, got immediately punished. And with two picks now, the T's should be able to group up and take pretty much anywhere they want. It looks like it's gonna be B. Prince finds one. Can't quite connect with the second, but he drops down E girls only to 23. It's a two oh, four yeah. here. But we know these E girls, they're powerful with that AK 47. Absolutely. A little low <laughs> HP, but it only takes one one tap. Wonder disconnects, they lose a player. Unfortunate. Oh, yeah. Oh, my Until in the heavens, yeah. double! See, there he is, E Girl. Finds a second one. Yep. Here's the player it's... drop. Let's see what the boss can do. Fine, nope. Not oh, quite yeah. The first. DTM had made that one possible with getting a kill with the Molly and the Wide Swing, but as soon as they were traded and Waynax couldn't find anything, off in a 1v2 is real hard to get. I'm fairly certain that Wonder was alive and he just, uh, he DC died, didn't he? Oh, it seemed like they had three alive, but I, I'm not sure if the T's got the pick when they went into B, because if they didn't get the pick, then that would have meant it was a three v four retake. Well, it is over now, and that will be the T's first round as Wonder rejoins with nine K. <laughs> yeah, those SMG kills, the ability to just pick up weapons like that op mean that Wonder's rich AF. Doesn't need any head armor. He knows it. As he goes into all of these AKs and Obo with an op once again. Will he find his first kill this round with it? Who knows? Oh, maybe. He's still got no armor, so even that SMG on Prism is going to shred him to pieces. We oh. unpause. We're out of this technical timeout, and we are back into the match here. I do hope that the MP9 does find Obo. That would, that would make my night. <laughs> oh man, no bias in the commentary, but also so much bias in the commentary. I love Very it. Very true. <laughs> Drop down connector again. Con taken for the T's, but this time the CT is just playing passive. They've left three players here to take water instead. DTM prowling around bathrooms and Zyra making sure they're not up con. And there it is. That triple stack water finds the first kill. Reflex can get one. He does find one, but Obo, there's his first kill. F finds one with the op. We've got three players in party right now. One coming up from behind as there are three CTs on B. One's rotating up now. Good move. As they don't, yeah. have, they don't, they they have info right now. One player's in construction. Mm -hmm. He doesn't see anybody yet. They cleared all of water too. I'm surprised they're not either more aggressive or just hard rotating A. And we do have one player running up long pretty quickly. DTM trying to get a little bit of information. He might be able to hear this long player. Yep, there's the footsteps. Oh, he's ready. Shadow there advantage. Fantastic. DTM takes it down to a 4v2. Finds a second. Not quite, but E-Girls does get dropped down to 7 HP. He's got the bomb. One player left on site. We're going to see another player rotate up very soon here. Lobo opts to pick up the M4 instead of the Ops for the 63. Oh, they get taken down very quickly. Prism holding the site extremely well. 5-1 for the counter-terrorists. Oh, that's that advantage of being able to rotate players back up to the A site, knowing that this isn't just a fake, knowing that DTM going down means that the rest of the T's are funneling into A. Prism can just hold it down, and DTM did so good. He found the first one just playing smart off of his audio. I've had the luxury of playing against him on overpass in this exact same situation except i was the b anchor so all game i would just hear my teammates dying towards towards bathrooms as i was sitting monster going what's going on oh man dtm looks like to be a very valuable player i believe he has the most kills right now for the ct mm -hmm. again junior itis he's trying to find this opening we saw before the one round that the t's won was a pick up from water but this time it's even trades Finds three. One of them is own, his own teammate. <laughs> oh yeah, a wall bang onto Wonder. Wow. That's a really that good pick. That... 
Obo smells average can creep out here. Because they took down Wonder, they have only one player to find, but one on the flank as well. It's DTM. We've seen him so good in Monster. Maybe now he'll be good. Or we've seen him so good not in Monster in bathrooms, but now he's good in Monster. We've got the, the 1v2 here. JM. He knows where both players are. The bomb is down. And that just lets the monster player hold it super, super well. He turns his back to heaven. He's very fortunate not to get shot from the back, but DTM's aim is just a little bit better. Oh, yeah. He had to take that fight onto so many angles in monster. There could have been a player close. There could have been a player water. There could have, They could have been anywhere. So he had to be fast, decisive, but does not land the shots required. Again, it's a force up. Interesting here for the T's. They're gonna have two SMGs and they might go for something fast. It looks like we have a lot of players towards mid right now, but oh, they might just be defaulting a little bit. One goes towards playground as the rest are jumping into con very quickly. And yep. the water. I think that's an interesting plan to try to counteract the possibility of a Molotov in water. Because if you send most of your players up connector, they can just jump out as the water players peak. Oh, jump spot from Wonder punished with the wall bang by Oboe. They've now boosted up. They're throwing that heaven smoke. Just gonna creep into sight with only Wainax here to defend. First kill, but no more. Gets traded out by that SMG. Got a 2v4 Zyra taken down to half one day. Oh, spots one, takes it down. Prism also finds another, but Jam trades it out 1v2. Everybody's very low, but it is very doable for Zyra, who is still playing a very good rotate position. He's going to hear this flash for sure, and he knows where it is now. Yep, there he goes. He's going to be wandering up. My prediction is he goes bank. He might be able to find one. Looks like they're planting right next to the trash can towards dice. It's planted for long, but no player opts for the position. Yeah, he has more HP than the two players he's up against combined. This makes it very possible. All he needs is two quick body shots here. The flash will give away his position. Oh, he didn't quite see that player hiding in front of but he does spot the one flower and it. Oh, he sees it. Takes him down very low, 1v1. That, that push time. forward could be an overcommitment, but not time. Oof. Let's see if he gets out of here. Looks like he will. He's made it away. Only three damage, he's fine. Yeah, that was a, a smart decision there to essentially just to, to play it safe from both sides. They took the safe rotate all the way up into B, but or all the way up into, yeah, all the way up towards B, down the connector. Or from B, I can't words today. I got to warm up into this one. You know what? We're doing fine right now. This is just the first game of the night. Yep, but now the T's are there. They're looking warmed up as they finally got their second round on the board, and we have this... Quadrus? Triple stack? Quad stack? Excuse nah, me? It should just be three. Yeah, it yeah be. it's three, and Zyra's found one kill off of it. I love that stack. It's good Very to know that there's at least two players committing, at least. Mm, three. You have to, because you got a triple towards there. That's true. He definitely did not see where it came from, though. He could have assumed it was the double boost. Obo, though, in fast to take this A control. I do like how quickly those DPs rotated it up, but it might not have been fast enough. Jan taking that AK to good use. He manages to oh. find one, but he gets taken down. Oh. Wineax, ooh, doesn't quite get the planner. Wonder left in the 1v2. He's only got a Galil, he's against two AKs. Stops the plant. Very, very low. Wonder still at full HP. Great shot on the Jam who decides to jump up onto the dice. 1v1 now, he's got 18 bullets left. That's just enough against Oboe Smells Average, who's got an AK, and he's, he gets the bomb. And he runs away. He's got enough time for B, but Wonder predicts it. Yeah, Wonder's heard him making those steps away. It immediately comes down heaven. We'll see. They're on a collision course to meet right here on B site. Oh, I love it from Wonder. He's he's got full faith that this player runs down to B, and he he's heard him. He knows he's there now. He's gonna wait for the plant, kill him while he's planting. Oh. Just like that. There it is. It was a fake plant in everything. I can only guess that maybe Obo heard that, or Obo smells heard that drop out of heaven. Maybe he smelt him. <laughs> Maybe he smelt him. I mean, he smelt Oboe plenty of times, though Oboe is on his team. Don't you that guy's a smelly guy.
but here, uh, that's 7 2. That was actually a great round from CTs. Is they were on a super, super light buy, weren't they? Yeah, they made those rifles work. They got the kill on the water player. It allowed Wonder to pick up a gun. Zyra then getting one more before he goes down means that Wonder can clutch it out in the 1v2. The T's, they do have a buy. Two players kind of low right now. Not a lot of util, not Came a lot of armor. Saved. Here might be a little bit of a, of a pincher play from the CTs, but we do manage to find one with that P250. He gets taken down quickly. DTM still playing up in divider. Two players on B, one towards A, 3v3, two AKs and a UMP. What can get done here? Uh, DTM is one. the key one to watch out for because he can shut down the A push and allow the two B players to be comfortable. It looks like he actually just did that as he found the player who was up towards top con. But these two players, Oboe and Oboe Smiles, want to still take A nonetheless. They probably know that two players are B. As that's what mm. the what they have been doing per the game. But they do have to go into DTM, the high fragger. Yep, and DTM is just playing smart to jump spot. He's seen the two players, drops a flash so that he can reposition back. I think now Oboe he's... made a footstep there. There's the rotate. Yeah, now DTM just gets to wait. He's playing safe, he's playing smart, and he's winning duels! First and second kill for DTM. Great flashbang from his teammate Wanax there. Oh, yes. 16 and 5. DTM is definitely doing very well this game. Mm -hmm. I am... I'm very much enjoying this. I'm enjoying getting to see DTM in their natural environment. They're just, they're so good at, at most being a nuisance, or at least being a nuisance, and at most getting multi frags like we saw last round. DTM does that, have very, very good timing. That sure was a Molotov from Reflex. <laughs> yeah, it would have stopped anybody who might have been. Oh my oh, goodness. That sure was a smoke push. push. Ran out of ammo there, couldn't find more than just the one. It's a 3v2 now, he set it up very nicely for his team. Jam's gonna pick up that MTM4. 2v3 here. It was a reload, now it's all about not overextending for the CTs. Instead, Zyra extends out, gets both kills anyways. Gave him, gave him the 1v1s. Yeah. Very, very, very kind of the Ds. Exactly, you know? They, they didn't really feel like they wanted to go for that 2v3, so they just said, here you go, man. Put it in your frag movie or something. <laughs> <laughs> throw that, throw that in, in the highlights channel, you know? Exactly. Oh, wonder with the early game. might be able to find one. Ooh, doesn't quite hit the shot. Just takes 26 damage instead as he falls off towards long. Oboe's got the scout once again. He's dropped down to 61. I have no idea how he survived that with no head armor. Yeah, it's somehow JM is able to be the aggressor off of Oboe's contact, and he's continuing to aggress up this bathroom's area. Oh man, Wonder missing two shots. That is very unfortunate as JM takes it down. Wynax left to hold the site alone and doesn't manage to find any of them, as this is just JM running him down all three kills towards his name. He's dropped down to 12 HP, and both players are currently in the storage. Let's see if they can do anything here. Maybe take a few guns away. It looks like they kind of want to go for this. Find a few picks. Yeah, they're looking into this. Maybe if they clutch this, that's another highlight, highlight-worthy moment. However, they might also just be looking for exits. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> it's yeah, tracers yeah. given from Oboe and a nice wall bang. Or not wall bang, smoke shot. Well, that's gonna be it though. Zyra wastes that Zeus. Crucial, crucial item there exactly that could turn it all around that zeus could have been the key he could have zeus collided Honestly, all five of them he might have been able to win that round if he kept it i'm just i'm just saying yeah you know but some zeus some decisions play. have to be made some guns have to be used up i mean the zeus is kind of pretty too it's like a confetti popper or something i'm waiting for zeus skins one day one day I want There's a Zeus that skin that shoots confetti. That sounds amazing. That does sound amazing. Look at this lineup. DTM, he he, he doesn't know the on the fly, but he still knows how to do it. And he, he is going to yeah. not stop anybody, actually. He does do a little bit of damage onto Oboe, Smells, and Jam. Yeah. The damage is useful, but because he's soloing with this SMG, these players can run up long already. And that is the bomb, yeah, towards long right now. One player in party. He's alone in divider. 
Uh, Wayne X standing. has rotated oh. over to watch, though. Oh, yes, he has. Oh, yeah, Wonder's not up on A-Site this time around. Oh! Close it's angle. Him. It's the goblin angle. They're not even looking at him. And he still gets it done. Even with the SMG. Oh, Wayne X can't get it done, though. Or no, he can. He finds the kill. He just is forced to back up. There's a smart play from him. He's gonna give up the site, but save his life. He can meet up with his team. Oh, he knows where E-Girls is now that DTM has fallen to him. JM's gonna take a pretty aggressive angle here, but Wonder might see it coming. Not quite. JM takes down the offer. Wayne Axe finding one in that fallback position. As Zyra gets up as well. We thought the T's had the site, but in reality, it was they were just setting themselves up for failure as those CTs had a very nice pinch. Yeah, it was a nice push from JM to find the one kill onto Wonder, but after that, he's forced to back up with the bomb. And because he's forced to back up, he drops that angle, and in that slight moment, Cyra Reflex runs up and takes him down. That was actually, I think that was great from Waynax. I mean, he gave up the site, and he managed to execute that play with Cyra very well because he gave up the site. Mm -hmm. Just playing safe, knowing that they pretty much had no long control, so might as well play it safe. Hobo! DTM, who's been so crucial at holding bathrooms, taken out through the smoke. Very unfortunate for DTM, but that is one of the... One of the, the fraggers are down now, as all of these T's are... Got two lurkers. The majority of them are in water right now, including the bomb. Lots of spray through. Not many bullets will be left in these guns, but there comes E-Girls. He just pushed up very quickly with Prism, finds the trade. Wonder not able to hit the shot quite yet. Finds the one. 3v2. Wonder is going to go down the under. Waynax spraying in the Obo, who's got the scout, peeks into a spraying M4 and gets dropped. 2v2. Let's see what Wonder can do here with the op. Hasn't spotted on anybody yet. I love how he's playing this. Scoped in at a moment's notice. He might need to fire. Goes for the wall bang. Oh, almost hits it's him. So close. Molly onto the bomb, the wall bang again, doesn't even find him, and JM takes him down. Waynax left in the 2v1. He knows where the players are, but Obo finds him with that op. Oh man, that one was so close. They were just looking to find first contact, find a first pick for Wonder, but instead he only gets one Deagle body shot in. It's not enough. That's sort of the curse of having that AWP, is that when you're trying to retake a site, it's near impossible to clear multiple angles at once. Very true. Now we have the that counter-terrorist save round. DTM has that MP9 once again. Had just yeah. enough for it. Is it the hero weapon that they need? Hopefully. Yeah, they've forced up because it's last round. And with this force, they're instead getting aggressive. We've seen them drop long control, like, over and over. But now they're aggressing it. And will James and JM be ready? They gotta play it slowly. Oh my goodness, but he gets spotted very quickly. And here's DTM. With his MP9, is he gonna use be able to find any of them? Not quite. Sem just takes him down. Obo taking him. Oh, Waynax. Excuse me, taking a few oh, pot yeah. shots, but opts to run back to site. They're just playing it's... very split up here. Uh, Pistol's not finding much at long range. Maybe Prism could be the hero taking bomb, but instead gets taken down and actually bombs all the way on the other side of the map. So Obo smells average, gets the last kill. A clean round from the terrorists to. Half it up at 10 to 5. Oh, wow. I am... I wouldn't say I'm shocked at the result, but I'm a little bit surprised at how the T's sort of made a slight comeback at the end to break their economy because they didn't have a lot of rounds at the start. And, like, we, we mentioned that one round where Wonder Reconnected had $9,000. Like, they yeah. had so much money going through the whole thing until the last round. That's, that's a fantastic half, honestly. Yeah, still it's 10 on the board, so they can be happy with that. Now they get to be the aggressors. And what do you think, what do you think we're going to see here? you think we're going to see a kind of a split play from the terrorists? Or think I think just go for the rushes? I think they're going to try to hit somewhere fast because they don't have a ton of util. I think it's going to be Waynax double flashing in, and they're just going to hit as hard as possible. I could see it right now. I think... Uh... Oh, let's see what site they go to first. Oh, here it comes as the T's are running towards mid. It looks like it might be a, an A here. He might have brought that smoke for the Molly or just somewhere. Yep. 
They're oh, splitting no. up connector. Hobo smells average, gonna get challenged immediately, and he wins it. Can he find the second? Ah, oh, he opts to, opts to run back. He gets the early pick and he doesn't want to give it up that advantage. But here come all of these con players. TPM swinging the angle, finds him. Obo smells average, goes down as all of these teams are just running towards A. The bomb is playing a little bit back. There we go. Wonder finds Fnatic. And that's that smoke there for jump up. Yep. Now the site completely cracked open and Wayne X still even has a flash for more aggression. Wonder doesn't even want the flash, he just wants the fight and he wins it. He might be getting another one too here onto Oboe, but nope, Oboe's USP reigns supreme. 1v3 from Oboe, and he's gonna take a backwards position as Wayne Axe pushes him and gets that nice lock one path. Oh yeah, we saw it just fast towards A, they made sure to clear out connector as well. The one player in bathrooms could get one, but that was all that they could find, and the one player on site couldn't even find anything. Instead, it's the Wonder Peak sliding right in there. We see him with the Steam Group tag on. Wonder Peak. This oh, like yeah. Step <laughs> step exactly. Step peak. <laughs> I feel like Wonder Peaks might be a, a little bit more accurate. <laughs> Sorry, Steph. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but shout out to Step Pro, though. So I'm open up a little mini map, throw the little smile. Got our observer doing a great job. Very, very good. Good camera work. It's Jay, I'm taking a lot of deagle shots onto this Mac 10. But here comes that Galil. The USP comes out. Jay, man. How did he get one? one. Uh, what? He got pushed. He got pushed, and he was just watching the angle. But it doesn't really matter. He was matter. on like 10 HP. That's crazy. Unfortunately, that is only one. Whereas they managed to find three. It is now. A 4v1 as DTM yep. finds E-Girls. His teammates could not hold on. Obo, oh, the only the one left. Finds one. No scope. No angle scout. Uh, you know, it's it's always a fun attempt to go for scout no scopes. It's probably the, the most stylish thing to hit. Oh, very. Just, especially when it's a flick. Oh, my goodness. I'd love to see one of those. I'm oh, still yeah. kind of bummed Wonder didn't get those wall bangs earlier. Mm hmm It was looking so close, he predicted it just right, but didn't land the shot. A little bit of a uh, default coming in from the terrorists right now, as we do have a good con pressure from both sides. Yeah, DTM's Obo. going for water control. He's going to meet contact at sandbags and kill them all. Oh. oh my goodness, DTM finds so many. That Zeus missed, and it's just JM now. Very, very quick, and he's just the A player. I mean, Bomb is clearly going to go down on B. What... Hero Deagle? Maybe. Hey, Hero Deagle, maybe find a kill. Get an AK, save it up. It's getting hunted by Prism. I don't it's getting know hunted by all of them. Hunt. Yep, Mac 10 wants to hunt. Goes down, though. Smart move from Prism, but unfortunately doesn't find the kill. And he's going to swing into this Galil, and Zyra will find it. This is very clean right now from the terrorists. I mean, they're just, they took that 10 round streak and they're, they're just gonna continue it, you know? Yeah, they had, they had those first 10 in the first half and they just looked to essentially be the dominant team when it came to how they were playing. And now that they get to control the map, there's, there's a lot less potential for them to get peaked on an unlucky timing because they're the ones doing the peaking and they're just playing perfectly together, getting map control. In this round, that map control seems to be Connector and Fountain. Well, Jam gets dropped on the 39 so, so quickly. Zyra finds Oboe Smells Average. I believe that was an M4 that he just took. Jam wants to nutmeg through the smoke, and he's found a good timing. Well, he knows what these players are doing. They are running away. He might be able to find two here. Gets one. Can he transfer the spray? Not quite. No, he does it. Gets DTM as well, but Wonder takes him down 3v3. Pretty even round right now. The bomb yeah. down and top con, it looks like. Mm, if he got no, those no. and stayed alive, it, he might have been able to just win the round outright. Instead, Spray's a little bit labored, so he does get traded, but still, two kills for his life. That is good. And it helps stall this play and makes the T's reconsider going A and instead start to clear out water. Oh, the T's do have an advantage if they decide to hit B, which it looks like they might want to here. Those CTs are all not moving. E-Girls is just holding a very, very tight angle on a monster, hoping one of these players walks out. They have a lot of util, though. I don't expect them to just go in with nothing. Oh, but that might be what we're seeing. Here comes Wainak swinging into the angle. E-Girls hears him. Oh, but he gets spotted! 
Good stuff Wayne, from Wayne Ax. He stands at his teammate's molly. He takes a few shots of that offer. Can he find it? Not quite. Oboe does a little bit of damage, but doesn't find a kill quite yet. Two ops coming in from the CTs on this retake. 3v2. Oboe finds one. He gets shot a lot. Doesn't quite die. 5 HP. Oh my god! Second. He might be able to do this right now as the player's running into construction. Oboe, 5 HP, 3 bullets left. Winax low as well. He's, He's guessed it right though. He's getting close, but he doesn't clear it all the way. And with no HP and a Molotov to play up against, probably no chance. Yep, and no kid as well. He's just gonna take his chances and run. Hopefully he makes it out in time. Oh, Winax doesn't quite get out, but Oboe does yep. manage to survive with 4. They're going to be happy, though. 14 rounds, tons of money on the T side. They can just buy right back up and keep playing these ones. That was a clean take into the site, but Oboe almost hit enough shots to get it back. Opping in heaven, completely exposed, but flicks onto two players. He's warming up now. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's feeling, feeling pretty warm, but that might not be enough to get him back into this game. He gets flashed off of that early peak he wanted to take, and he just totally opts against it. He's got some good information. Waynax finding E-Girls on that quick push, and Prism finding another. Quickly traded out by Fnatic. Another player down into Khan takes him down. We know where two players are. It's a 2v4. One on B, one in Divider. And it looks like the T's may be opting for what looks like B. Yep, oh, here the going to have to be the hero. Only one on Pillar with an op. Do we believe in him? He finds DTM. Can he get the other two rushing him? No, he cannot. JM does manage to find that one player who was a little bit lagging in water. 2v1 throws that nade. Only two damage onto Wonder, unfortunately. And that's just the rotate. They're just going to leave sight. And Wonder's going to... Wonder's going to wait? He's waiting, Wonder. but he's going to hear him if they decide to back up Connector. He makes the noise to stall. Going to let his teammate just plant for that bank and bathroom... Or that bank and dumpster side. It is not looking too hot for JM right now, but let's not not count him out quite yet. Smoke and a flash against Wonder and Wayneax, both in the after plant positions. Could go yeah. for the cheeky ninja defuse. He's got a kit. Yeah, saving might be smart, but they don't want to save because they're going to have to give up match point if they lose this. Oh, he's got to find one kill because he's going to walk into Wayneax right now. Oh, doesn't quite find it. Drop Wayneax at 28. Wayneax spray oh. with a little bit more. His first few bullets of the spray were good, but then it just started to be off as Wayneax crouched below and spammed him down. Well, now again, we have a buy-up. It's looking even worse, though. No op on Oboe. I mean, JM has the M4, and he's the only one going positive. Maybe we could see something heroic, but it seems like he's just been getting consistent kills, but not enough to carry, at least not on the CT side, where everyone's getting tested all around the map. Very true. Prism goes for this. Very he doesn't date. spot. So that's first from JM. Ooh. Second, we talked about him being impactful. Double kill is going to be nice. And Oboe's walk through that smoke. Just oh waiting. Goodness. The other Oboe gets the shotgun kill. On to Wonder as well. This is pretty doable. Maybe Oboe finds it. Well, yes, he does. Great USP kill on a win axe. Ever left in the 1v3. He's got two flashbangs and the bomb. Almost a sight, but he's gonna walk away. Gonna hear him. They the peek in again. early. That peak could have been the challenge that gives away the first kill. This peak is the challenge that gets it, though. Unfortunate for Zyra, but that is another round in the pockets for the counter terrorists trying to keep the dream alive. 15 16, or 6. <laughs> oh, yeah. Maybe JM can get another 2k, because that was the, the catalyst that started that round. Or maybe Over or Oboe will be able to find a kill right down there with another shotgun. Instead, though, they've been able to upgrade. Got some decent rifles. Still not a great buy, and still a solid buy out for the Ps. This one will be their last solid buy, though. If they can't string something together, and Oboe's found one with the scout, he predicts where the next player will come from. Gets taken down because his HP is already low. Oh my goodness! Look at all of the teams are just winning their fights right now. We've got two CTs left, and drop all the way down to zero HP, and we're left with the E girls left in the one before two players very low DTM and Prism, but they're going to be playing behind. 
Wayne Axe, Hero P. The Shadow gives him away, but he finds it anyways. Wayne Axe was just finding so many Hero P kills, it's incredible. Oh, he's just been only him. He walks in, they get the first shot off, but he's more consistent with that spray down. Just a solid one. Zyra coming alive in the T half, DTM in the CT half. They combine together over 20 kills each, and that's going to be the game. Well, not not the closest, but still pretty good. Mm -hmm. I think most of those players showed at least a reason why they should be considered. It was solid. Very true. Well, we will uh, get the next game queuing up here soon, guys.
don't know why. Hey, I'm like level one, so. Oh. Yeah, I I didn't think much of my face at rank, but coming into something like this where there's a bunch of like level threes and I'm level four, I feel so special. I just uh I just derank my face at account whenever I find face it. <laughs> I don't mean <laughs> to, I just get on fat losing streaks. I don't know why. <laughs> you know, I can understand that. Scraps looking for the most advanced lineup ever. <laughs> <laughs> cast it, have you casted minor yet, Fuffy, or no? I have. We've casted it, some fun minor stuff. Okay. How do you? Yeah, we've had you, a couple moments. Do you like casting minor games? I enjoy. I think like players like Young Smith make minor games fun to cast because I remember them getting a bunch of multi kills. Legend almost with a clutch the other day. Mm-hmm. I I like last season, I just like casted maybe three minor games and I just like couldn't do any more. I was like, this is because it, it was I there were three really dull games where like it was just default only. It was very bored. Oh, you mean how I call, except it's not really a default because the random bad oh message. You get Very nice. <laughs> Send them the picture of Brokey but girl with big titties. Yeah. <laughs> also, I'm not sure how it would go, like when I should or shouldn't take over, because there's parts where I'm like, I want to go through all of this, but at the same time, I don't want a game where we're both like where both of us are obviously doing play by play. Because sure. then it it will end up like the the listener is a little bit confused. Yeah. So like I like to sort of slot into that role, but at the same time I know Launders does some play by play with Scrawny, Harry and Hugo. I can barely tell which one is which. So you know, true, <laughs> true. They just they feel like the same person, and so I love them on the cast. Yeah. <laughs> That the one that sounds like Henry G or the one that sounds slightly different? <laughs> well, okay, so so what do you want to try to do this game, Fuffy? Do you want to try to mix it up a little bit? Like do you just wanna uh -huh. do you just wanna like focus on it or cause we could do rounds, we could do games. We could hmm. I mean, like a like a secret way to communicate it, but I'd be down to alternate literally whatever you feel like, just so that I know when I should go off and go into autopilot, cast everything mode. Okay, we can like um, I guess this this game we should try every uh, like other round, and then if okay. that doesn't go well, then maybe we should just do like every game, like every other game. We just yeah, I mean, maybe we just do like every once in a while, or we just swap off. We we send messages to each other. We communicate. With our mind. We have like a secret secret phrase. You know, <laughs> oh, let's see one. what happens here in this round. And that means that I'm throwing to you or something. <laughs> I I just like I loved our, our I loved our like long silences where like one of us was like, all right. <laughs> oh, I would like I would notice something like a flank, and so I'd start casting it, and then you would think I'm doing play by play, and I'd be like, oh, here he comes on the flank, and then I'm waiting for you to like commentate the kills or something so that I don't take over the play by play completely. I just notice the thing. Yeah. But then you'd go quiet, and so then after it, I would jump back in, and I'd be like, oh, he <laughs> did just get those kills. <laughs> And then, okay, and then yeah. you'd be like ready to jump in, but then you'd stop again because I started doing it again. Yeah, we should, we should just do like every other round. Mm -hmm. We'll see how that goes for us. Oh my God, Forecast, you're nuts! You're nuts, bro. Get another. Oh wait, we were not muted on stream. DTM's probably is in watching stream. Going, are they supposed to hear us?
And we are back, bringing you the knife round. Fuffy took a little bathroom break, but Varel's here to cast knife round. Oh, <laughs> I'm stinky. <laughs> you are stinky. I'm so excited to cast this knife round. Let's see what we got going for us right now. They're going towards mid. This should be an easy pick for the CTs. On a nerve. Cloudy running quick with that butterfly knife. Let's see if he can find him. Maybe a beat hop here or there. Oh, not nerves are stalling, though. You should have seen the start of this. All of the C's went mid and all of the C's He's stalling and baiting for his teammate in the corner. Oh, and there's the first knife. Neville finds the trade very quickly. Mixer finds a second. That is an advantage for the CTs as they just find literally all of them. Only one left and he gets backstabbed instantly. What a knife. Hacker. I love the idea of the play there. They had someone sitting in the corner top mid so that Nerve would run past them and bait for the kill. I really don't think... I, I really... I'd like to think that they planned that, but I just know they didn't. <laughs> you know, that is very fair. <laughs> All right, let's see what we get going on right now. We've got lots of armor buys. USP's one kit going for our CT players. I'm, I'm hoping there's a stack here from the CTs. I just I just, I just, just love seeing the B stack. It doesn't look like gamble. it's going to happen. Yeah, and the gamble might have paid off right now. We've got, oh, three players going towards mid. The bomb is going towards B. Mix taking a few pot shots. Doesn't quite find any. Nebly only down to 88. And here comes this really fast B play. Psycho taking a few shots. Finds one. Finds the other nerve. And that's that's the sight. That was a super, super clean round. The CT is very, very disoriented. And we're left with Cloudy going down very quickly <laughs> and paternal finding it finally the first kill yeah. for the ct they got something the catch <laughs> massive catch up coming in let's see what he can do here. oh man top frag for his team <laughs> fantastic <laughs> the top frag better be able to know how to catch up you know oh <laughs> uh, you know that round the fact that they only had a mix standing there in mid and they immediately went down. There was no con player to try to trade or stall, so they just got cat for free. And the B players weren't even ready. They weren't even aware. It was pretty well, fast. We'll see if they're aware this round. It's just pistols coming out. And it's syncopate again, fast into top mid. Smoke lands down window, forces SVG back. <laughs> and mixed. Taking one down, gets himself an SMG. Drops that to a teammate. Now they at least have man advantage. And they know the palace is clear. They know that A main's clear. They can stack over towards B. Has to be wary of connector though. That's where syncopate is and gets the first kill. This point now, Cloudy has to watch so many angles at once being the only player here on A. However, because they cleared out A main, they can be pretty confident that it's B. And they can pretty, be pretty confident pushing up mid. Mix gets some damage. But Syncopate's able to back up. Nebel gets one. Nebel finds a second with the pistol. Scurry oh, trying to happening? find something. <laughs> There's no ammo! And that leaves Paternal the only one left. This B site, which seemed like they could stack. Paternal finds the first with the dig. Next one's low, but he does not know it. All he needs is a body shot here on Nerve. He spots them out. Wall bangs. Just barely doesn't connect. Now, Nebel's the one to just bait out the fire and Nerve can swing. That was a good did. shot. He got tagged to the wall. Yeah, he got tagged. He was super low. If it wasn't I through thought. the wall, he would have gone down there. However, in the end, he's able to stay alive, and that means that Nebel coming in from the side finishes it off. This is another major game? I did not notice. This, I believe, is minor? Question mark? Uh, you know what? It doesn't matter. As we uh, producers here to say, it is a minor game. It's a minor game. All right, we love to see it. Yes. Nebel finding one with his scout. Great crosshair from from Vexel. I I love it. It's it's large and in you top, know right. He I'm gonna assume that he like started the game with a nade crosshair and swapped off. <laughs> but I don't think he wants to. You know. Ooh. Cloudy gonna play around the smoke. Very, very well placed. That shouldn't have any mollies that come towards him as Nerve drops down. He gets taken out very quickly. Cloudy's gonna be running away with the AK, but he gets headshot, no scope from Nebel. Second kill this round. 4v2. We've got a scout and an MP9. Scurry goes down by Bog with the AK. MP9 out of the hands. One player left. He's on cat. He's got a scout. 
Let's see what he can do with it. Looking towards Khan, gets headshotted through the wall. Not too much damage. Drop down to 52. Throws the flash, gets nated to 11. He's gonna swing anyways, but nobody's there to meet him. The bomb is down, and here we come. Master Crosshair running in very quickly with his Glock burst on. Only one shot. Needs it. The jumping AK spray finishes it off. Oh man, that one was a little bit chaotic with Cloudy able to play through that smoke, but eventually he gets taken down and the no scope scout just insane there to find the kill. And after that, once they have A, they can just play with the better guns. And again, this round they'll have better guns because they're up against two scouts, Deagle, SMG, and a Deagle. These four spies just, they seem to be the go-to for the CTs. Flashes in. Mid taken, but Nebel headshot through a smoke. Cloudy finds a second headshot. Another one! That's two kills with the Desert Eagle. Just destroying any hopes of taking A site. With Bomb down as well, they know that there's going to be a player up towards Palace. They're just lobbing their nades in. Cloudy playing safe. They've already done so much. And now all they have to do is sit back and wait. Their teammates rotated in as well. This should be impossible for these two players left. Maybe if Cloudy goes down, the scouts, SMG, and Pistol won't be able to find as much. Syncopate walks out, gets spotted, flicks over to Cloudy. Now they have Bomb. They've recovered that. That means that they can go anywhere with 50 seconds left on the clock. However, they're looking to just keep it simple and go A. Syncopate finds another. However, it's only a trade because Vexel goes down in Palace. That HE could finish off the player's CT, but it goes just a little bit too deep. And now Syncopate's stuck here with 14 health. Another flick. He's found so many picks. But it's not enough. Finally, the trade comes in. Cloudy does so much work in the early round. Those Deeg shots were insane. And they're able to close it out. The Force Buy finally pays off. Cloudy absolutely secured that round for the CTs there. No doubt. Those Deagle kills, they were fantastic. And that's exactly what they needed for the save. Here, he's got an op now. Let's see if he can get anything done here. It doesn't look like any players are going to be fast towards mid. It looks like all of the Ts are going to... Oh, we got one going towards mid right now. A few underpass. They know that there's an op now. Nebel's going to be dropping that smoke so he can get up a little bit more. And Vexel's trying to fight the player car who falls back towards jail. A little bit of spray down, not a lot of action going on quite yet. We've got a lot of players towards B, and we do have a CT right now in T spawn. He might be able to get something done here. As these players are all defaulting, but Nebel finds him out. But Cloudy gets it one, traded very quickly by Syncopate. It's a 4v3 right now. 3v3, 2v3. Oh, oh my that's important. Great oh. round. Trades it out. 2v2 suddenly. Three AKs and a Zeus. I just I just want to see this happen right now. Vexel, he has not left apps yet. He's got that fantastic crosshair still. You love to see it. As SVG spots him. He gets dropped down in the car. A little bit of spray coming in. Vexel hears it. Knows where one player is. Great shot through the top of the box. 2v1. Scurry. Let's see what he can do here. So Molly goes down. He's got an AK, but he walks right into that fantastic crosshair. Oh, everything seems so good there in middle. They got the kills that they needed. Paternal swinging out for the double. However, he got overzealous jumping in out of that window position. And I think that's where he sort of... He threw away what could have been an advantage back into an even situation. And allowed Vexel to just get those entries out of apps, get bombed down, and they took him out. Now it's an uneven buy for both sides. Mix gets a little bit aggressive and taken down. Vexel wants to get aggressive, but <laughs> flubs their own flash. Won't matter too much, because he's got teammates coming out from A main. Will they be ready to clear Ninja? Bog does. Kill onto Cloudy. Bomb down triple. This should just be a simple cleanup round here. Unless we see Paternal with something crazy. Scout shots in. Gets a tag onto Bog. But SVG goes down in the meanwhile. We've gotten slow. We've slowed it down. However, off of that flash, they immediately speed back up. CT clear, and now Scurry wants to just save this body armor. Sitting here in ladder, having a fun time. Knows that there's players all around him, but also knows that they likely won't get cleared. They hear that underpass. 
That's interesting. But nothing comes of it. Scurry has armor, has plenty of money, can now buy this op. I've I've noticed Scurry before playing around with that op. I remember two days ago on Vertigo, they had that 1v3 clutch, which is just pretty crazy. I had written them off at the start of the round, and they just come in with quick scopes. Well, maybe now they have the spawn for mid. They might try to go for the quick scope here. Instead, they're just double scoped in deep, but they get smoked off, and the spam shot doesn't land. However, while Scurry's trying to watch and cover their teammates, their teammates just go down. Shot missed on Debog and on Palace as well. And that means that, essentially, it's just full-on map control for the Ts. These last two CTs forced to rotate around. Syncopate kills a teammate, eventually gets the spray down though onto Paternal. Nerve onto SVG, and Scurry might be forced into another save. It's looking like a repeat of the previous round, except instead of having pistols, they fully invested. Scurry might even get hunted down. Going for that save in the palace. Yep. It, it's a smart decision, you know. Yeah, lots of players are coming for him, though. Only one player watching the bomb now. They've got enough money to hunt, so. Sounds yep. about right. Scurry is watching the right angle. Should be able to get this shot. Find the action that they never did earlier in the round because instead all their teammates died. Now they just play back, play safe. Able to hold on to the op and probably going to be all that they have buying into this round. Maybe a pistol or two, but they do not have money for a fully invested. Now hopefully it's uh, the hero weapon that they need. A hero op coming in for Scurry. He is into another op right now. He doesn't really have the spawn for window, but it looks like he might be going for it anyways, decides against it. He's going to run back towards the A site, and all of the T's are going to be towards mid and A. Molly for window, and that's definitely just going to take nobody out of the position. Paternal goes down to Vexel's op, and Neebly finds another one. The op is still in play for the counter-terrorists right now. They just have all of mid control. This is so good. Look at that. Double kill. Vexel and Bog. Very, is very it, quickly. Is it the scurry save show again? Looks like it uh, might be. Looks like they're surrounded, this. though. Oh, good shot. Oh, another great shot. That's a two piece right now. He's doing a lot of work for Looking his team. Looking more possible. Finds a third. Push. This is win this now. now. <laughs> they oh, almost lined up. I thought he was going to kill them both. That would have been insane. Now he hears the B rotate, but it's a fake. It's an interesting one. He could have read it even better. We'll see. It looks like he might. No, I don't know if he's correct on this one. Yeah, they're going to go up cat here. But if he's quick enough, he should be able to spot the bomb. I don't think that he realizes that it's B, and yeah, he's not going to be able to find this player cat yet. The bomb is definitely going to go down towards B, and Scurry is just going to be going towards market. It looks like he kind of wants this round. If he wins it, it's an ace. Yeah, if he gets the first kill, I definitely think it's possible, and I definitely think that he's feeling himself right now. Oh, he was ready for that, but looks away at the wrong time. Now he's on the save. Back to Scurry save, round two. He did oh, find man. three kills for his team, though. There. Right. He got them a little earlier in the round. Or round three, actually. This is round three save. Okay. Yeah, first <laughs> round he saved Deagle Armor. Second round he saved Op. Third round, again, in Palace with the Op. This man is not going to have a lot of deaths. <laughs> yep, it's, it's jame time, you know? But he did get a lot of kills that round. He's showing that can be potent with it so he definitely wants to hold on to it teammates will be able to buy up around this now as well uh, now the buy comes in we have double op on both sides this is fascinating this is an interesting choice 
Scurry, Scurry getting cool. aggressive in Palace, peeked by the op, takes him down, but at the same time, Vexel's taking down the other op. They go op for op, one for one. The CT smoke landing, Scurry's not worried about it at all. He just scurries up onto Ticket and holds a main. However, that initial pick in mid means that they rotate one B player off towards mid. That can leave B open for the taking. However, retaking might be the name of the game here. Paternal finds one, now coming in towards market as they hear players going into apps. Good angles. Players. Yeah, they're both on good angles. They're both scoped in here. They should be able to shut down this hit when it comes in. 007. Oh, you're right, <laughs> SVG 007. They find spam onto the first one, but Paternal's actually the one to take it down. Both these ops now for the CTs, they seem to be the answer. They seem to be their way back into these rounds. Paternal, another one. Can they make it a third? Misses the shot onto Nebel, who goes down. SVG now 0 and 8. However, Paternal finally finishes them off. Slowly creeping in with that op. Taking the kill. It's a solid 4K right there. Give it up to SVG there, letting his teammate take all the credit for that hold. Exactly. They were Very important. At them. least they, they played forward enough, and I think that's what matters. Even if you're not having the great game, playing with your teammates so that if all else fails, they get the trade. Very true. Only one op this time around for the T side. SVG going for that mid peak, but nobody's there quite yet. We might see one player. There's the smoke is down. I just noticed we've got two ops here on the CT. Scurry managing to find one player towards top mid. But SVG's got to scout this round. I'm not quite sure why he didn't get a buy from Scurry, who's got 9k, but... Yeah, I guess SVG playing up in mid was a good bait. However, now Scurry gets traded out. Yeah, it looks like the, the CTs are playing this round pretty, pretty tight, pretty close as the Ts are trying to push out for a little bit too much of an aggressive like info peak they're all getting caught out vexel spots one triple i don't think he actually did but now the triple guy is for sure going to hear his op being scoped as we do have two traits coming in the 3v2 vexel spots one takes the shot but misses it nerve pushing us through the op is watching the angle though is confined can <laughs> svg takes him down finally puts a kill on the board he's got two this round and Vexel going for a save. You know, we're seeing the reverse now. They're able to get these get these ops going, get everybody playing back, playing safe. They get all the picks. And that means that now Vexel, forced to hold on to this op, might want to try to find a crossing player, but they're not looking high enough. Mr. Crosshair. <laughs> 14 exactly. seconds left in the round. Who might be getting a fight here mid if he plays it right? Yeah, when we officially stream the games, we might have to get things set up so that we just see normal crosshair, default crosshair. Well, you don't like the smoke lineup crosshair? I mean, it's good when you're lining up smokes. I guess it's also good that Vexel had been playing on that op, so we don't even have to worry about the crosshair. Because we could True. see the beautiful scope instead. And they're like the same thing. <laughs> Exactly. You know, they just want to be an opera, so they're they're preparing with that crosshair, you know? Fast A hit could come out here. They have left Bomb behind, so it looks like they might just be holding for picks here at the start. Vexel gets close in Palace, making sure that there's no aggressive peak. Instead, the aggression comes towards mid. Paternal gets the window jump, and just begins to creep up. There's the smokes and flashes out A. The exec is going to begin, and Cloudy's the only one on site. Able to find the first. Sprays down the second as well. Now they swing to the other side of default for a third. Forced to swap off their weapon. Instead, opts to hide and reload for the fourth kill. A site is Cloudy. They did it before with the Deagle. Now they're doing it with the AK. Vexel, the only one left. Magical thing chase the they're chasing him, getting aggressive, and Cloudy wants the ace, finds the ace. Oh, wow. That's a great round from Cloudy. Look at all that money he's got now. Oh, yeah, doubles their kills in just one round. That AK just clean, finds all of these kills. At the end, able to swing in towards Palace, even gets that one on the retreating player of Vexel.
Looks like it's the B-Rush coming in very quickly. All Glocks, one Deagle, nothing to stop this Molotov, but Paternal is likely going to just line up this Equal Rush. Another Molly coming down and, ooh, maybe it's not gonna happen. It looks like the two Mollies have scared them off. Doesn't make a lot of sense because now they don't have to run into any Molotovs, but they're gonna be walking away anyways as the CTs take very, very forward positions. There's the jump spot, sees one. And he's just going to wait for it. But it will not come. One player in underpass. One apps the bomb towards back alley. And they're just kind of, they're, they're expecting rotates, but the rotates aren't really coming in. Yep. No I mean, flanks. It, it's a smart play here. However, not as smart was Mix. Seemed to be peeking straight out of window and underpass, getting taken down by that Desert Eagle. That gives him a pop over to Syncopate. Over the rest of these players, Glocks, they shouldn't stand a chance against the guns. Throne is taken down by the op here as he's spraying all these Glocks. Might find the one D, doesn't quite hit it. These two players there, gonna opt to fall out a little bit. Throws the smoke down. An op and a Glock versus the whole arsenal of the CTs. But we still have one player con and one player A. They could potentially take B site if they play it well enough. Only... 18 seconds left in the round, though. It doesn't look like much can be done at all unless they run towards Khan quickly. Which is what they are going to try to do. He gets taken down at, by SVG, and it's going to be Syncopate. He needs to figure out how he's going to save this. One player is already pushed up. One second left. Here's him running. Does he find the kill? Not quite. Paternal takes him out. Oh, at least it was just a picked-up op. However, that does mean that Syncopate gets no loss bonus. Can be very unfortunate. They're going to be forced to watch as their teammates can buy up and they cannot. Oh no, they get a drop over. That's nice. Now these these T's can try for map control again. Looks like they're trying for mid. They're able to block off the op from Cat with some nades. Flash coming in, Scurry, they peek past him. Because they go wide, he can't help his teammate SVG. Now forced instead into this arches area. Holding down, they should have the peek in Cat. Dodge back from the Flash, find the first kill. We've seen Scurry impactful with this AWP before. They peek out again, but there's already a player close left and they might not be ready for it. <laughs> no, they're not. Evil finds the first one, tapping for the second, taken down by Paternal. Now at least they have B-Site under control, but they do not have A. Instead, it's oh, mixed in the connector. Oh, and Cloudy is DC'd. Nerve all the way up on that flank from window. We're gonna catch Paternal in the back. That means that Mix is the only one left. Forced to rotate in there, at least here quickly. They could get the kill onto the player pushing market if they get the right timing, but instead, timing evades them and Nerve's the one who has the kill. Nerve really securing that round by just flanking, jumping up through that window position, getting in. After all the kills go down, they knew an opening was made and they capitalized. SVG now has an opportunity, by the way, to change his crosshair. Yeah. It's very Although simple. I believe the way that uh, specking works is that we see their first crosshair that they joined oh, the game with. Right. And so they're probably not playing on that crosshair. Probably. Uh, it is pretty easy to change it now that they added the whole take your teammates crosshair with a click of a button. True, true. Thanks, Valorant. <laughs> I'm out coming to an end. Five to eight, round 14. And it looks like we're going to have a buy from both sides here. We're going to have a triple op. The nasty triple op setup. Let's see what can be done with it. One of them is definitely towards mid, and I think two on A. Yeah, one playing tickets and one playing con and one playing mid. The opera set up an evil <laughs> Poor SVG. The smoke. That is very, very unfortunate for SVG. That's an op down already. And Scurry running around through, but oh my goodness, Syncopate finds one in window. That's two players down in window already. Yeah, it's Paternal the window of one. death. Another one yes. goes down. Nerve and Vexel find two. Cloudy finding another one. He is left now. 
in the 1v3, the smoke does come in for Cat. And it looks like the bomb does opt for B-side. Cloud has got to be fast if he wants to find anything. Yeah. One more player on Cat. He might go in the ladder, and it looks like he does go in the ladder. We know that Cloudy's been so good holding down A, but how will they do on a retake? Will they opt for the save because next round is last round? It's very likely. Let's see if Cloudy can make the catch up happen. Not quite. I think he was the one to make the, the catch up happen. Pistol, right? Um, I believe we've seen Paternal do it. Oh, the fake flash does not work out in his favor. Vexel takes him down. Ooh, there it is. Five to nine. We're here on last round. Both teams will have good enough money to get guns invested in that in this round. Mix not having the best economy, so instead ops for a P90. Interesting choice, but maybe we're going to see some aggression. Maybe we're going to see some kind of, you know, art-inspired push. SVG on the shotgun as well. Fascinating. So we have again fights towards middle, but this time Mix getting aggressive, catches him throwing the utility, can only find one. Syncopate finds the first, Scurry finds one, Syncopate another one. That's all of mid cleared out. I think the T's have their answer, and they've been abusing it throughout this entire later stage of the half. Nerve flubs Amali, but there's no one there under Palace, so it won't really matter. They finally drop down that smoke. Cloudy back in CT, forced to back up. They can get bombed down. And SVG and Cloudy, the last two, they're going to have to attempt this retake, but it's not going to be easy. Mr. Mag7 here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cloudy jumping up. Maybe could find the opening. Looking around, <laughs> instead looks the wrong way and gets their head taken off. Means SVG's the last one. Long range mag 7 attempt. Oh, he's in such a bad spot. Ah, oh. that is rough. SVG seem to have been in a bad spot that entire game. Only three kills, them and mixed. The bottom of the scoreboard. Maybe they'll be able to turn things around now that they can swap over to T side. 10 to 5, just like last game. <laughs> exactly. Let's let's hope though that the this team that's now over on T's can you know, get a few more kills, get a, get a few more, get a little bit more morale going and make more of a comeback. See I know that magical will happen. <laughs> exactly. I know we did see two overtimes two days ago in the matches. Oh. So there so, is potential. Here there's we got potential. A, another B rush. There's no stack. One player is playing on site, the other one is playing arches. They Sigupay eat the flashes. Sigupay still finds one. Bog getting the second. Paternal manages to find the other one. Tech 9 coming in quick. Bog finds him. That's three for Bog right now. One player, Archie, knows he's there. Goes down from Nerve. SVG managing to only find one. Yeah, that's the only real silver lining in that round is that SVG finds something. Hopefully they can start getting these players who... Just haven't really been able to come alive in this game. We've seen Scurry with their one round that they've been able to save that up and find impact. We've seen Cloudy hold down A so well. We've seen Paternal with solid picks as well. It's just been tough for the other two, and it feels like they really need to step it up if they want to win this. Or if not, they'll go out with a whimper. Very true. What is this train? <laughs> it's an underpass train, and it's a 2k for Nerve. Trades are good though. Very solid. SVG Paternal, oh, the only two less left. Oh yeah, the jumping shot does connect. However, they quick switch as they peek out. That means Bog can get the kill. And Paternal's the only one left. Man. Slow peek with the Deagle, not that, finding anything. That flash SVG threw, I was like, why is he throwing that? And then he peeked Khan, and I don't think he meant to do it, but it was such a good blind on Khan, but he just swung a little too early which is why I don't think he meant to blind the con player. But oh yeah. my gosh, if he waited for that flash to pop, that would have been a free kill. That would have been big brain, but instead their brains are splattered all across of middle. <laughs> that seems like where all the action is today. <laughs> oh Vexel's my brain splattered in A main. <laughs> oh, now the triple smokes can come in. This side is they free too. Oh, yeah, they get one close in their face, but if they decide to go through it, they should have all of this for free. Maybe the pistols can hold it down. Cloudy dies up close, Nerve playing it like a one-way, finally traded out by SVG. 
Now Paternal and Scurry, the last two left. Scurry sitting in the corner, shoots at the long player, but instead the close one takes him down. And it's the flank combined with Boggs Deagle that finish him off. I mean, I think that the whoever had that Og earlier in the round, I think it was Nerve. He he gave up sight very early, but I think it was probably a very smart play. I mean, the the tees they threw really good smokes, but they didn't quite cover that jungle position, and it allowed him to find two. So, mm -hmm. good move to give up sight. Now it's full buy-in. They're a little bit late to have any wiggle room, so they they need to win this one. Got a Krieg. They've got three AKs. They've got an op. They've got mixed breath with fast palace control. Might go for a pick out, but instead slowing down now that they're here to take this map control. Ooh, maybe a, a Krieg play. Through the smoke! Oh, wow. Doesn't even get a shot off. Mixed, not having the best of games. Taken down by that push. Now there's a Krieg in the hands. Vexel does get op down, and Nebel only gets one means that they have sight again, and they have better guns to hold it down. Oh, Scurvy. Sponsored the smoke and just runs away, but Nerve manages to find his friend. Nerve doesn't look like he knows where the other player is, but he does know where one is. SVG finding one from Palace. Nerve and Bog left in the 2v2 versus an op. Yeah, Got thanks. a good... The flash is good. The spray is not great, though. Nerve finally goes down. Bog the only one left. They hear the offering out as well. Tapping bomb. Wall bang. SVG's swing. It's a little bit overzealous. If they just stuck it there, the shot missed, but instead they're just forced back. Bog goes wow. down. Scurry able to scurry away with that AWP. And that's a much needed round for the T's. Very true. 613 right now on the scoreboard. Not looking too hot for our T side right now, but looks like they've got a pretty good buy right now. Mm hmm. If they win this one, they should definitely be able to break the CT economy. The only one with extra money seems to be Bog, but even then, it will not be buy money next round. Scurry awaits the smokes, now can swing out into mid. Oh, good one, Deeg. From Seekipate on to Cloudy. That's an AK down. I don't know if he's going to be able to grab it or not. Just going to be playing in ladder. One player, top mid. Bomb going there too. We do have two players in B right now. And it looks like they want to walk out, but Bog is already holding it. Finds one. He's pushed on to the lip there. Yep, now flashes in. Oh, doesn't so the quite spray get is rough though. SVG at least able to find some more kills in this one. We talked about them struggling in the first half. Well, they have helped to activate in the second half to at least get some of these rounds. There's a player under them. They jump over top and get the spray down before finally being traded. Now these last two T's, they at least have the market window smoke so they can enter into the site. But the CT's are going to be fast out market door. Scurry, quick scope, flick misses. But Mix is bringing bomb A. Big brain plant money. Oh yes, and hopefully a clutch, but they're going to need three kills. They're going to need to defend this bomb. It's going to be CTs rotating in soon. Yeah, there goes the bomb and all of the CTs running over a little bit late. I like Mixed getting into these close angles because they're up against two ops. And they I could do. slip through this hole right here and get behind both of the CT players. Wow. It's going to be a momentum shifting play if Mixed pulls it off. They're walking up, and no one's on the bomb yet, so they have time to get into the site. Now it's being tapped. Now it's being sticked. They swing into the side, find the first, but the spray is awkward with the Krieg. Might need to practice that SG a little bit more. That is unfortunate. I thought we really saw a dream, a dream clutch coming through. Oh, yeah. They activated onto the player, not looking at him. Unfortunate still. Using their brain, making it smart, even if their aim's not feeling the best today. Kind of a light buy here from the T's. We see a scout and a deagle. Yep, they're going in with what they can because they don't want to give up match point. It does look like uh, yeah, Vex was only on that P P2000? 
Let's see what he can do with it. Lots of smokes down mid. Neville with his scout. Doesn't see anybody cross yet. Sorry, Neville has an op. <laughs> yeah, cloudy with the scout, though. Yeah, we Curry do. with the op. This is interesting to see. An op, a scout, two rifles, and a deeg. Eternal deeg. <laughs> Good shot, Neville. Yep. Curry now holding cat. They can swing on this window position. They would have heard the nade, but now their timing for that kill is a little bit off. Instead, just ops to play it safe. It's a smart decision. Their teammates are going down in the meanwhile. Syncopates double up from Catwalk. Mixed able to at least get out. Now connects the shot that he needs. And Scurry able to get the ladder player as well. His position finally comes into play. He's able to capitalize and now just be sneaky over in this connector. Mix needs to hold down CT. Sprays onto the first, unable to connect to the second. And Scurry the last one. They get aggressive. So aggressive. That's very smart. Able to just get in close, get that kill. They're saying, you know what? I'm not going to give you time to reposition or try to play some kind of big brain anything. I'm just going to get in your face. I have an op. I'm faster. Seven fourteen now. The terrorists. You know what? They could. They could. This could be the start of something great for them. They've got. They've got the guns. You know, not a lot of money, but if they win this, they start building something. Here comes that A rush. Vexel tapping away as SVG only manages to drop two of them down to fifty-five. Bog does get tagged up a little bit, and the T's have B for free. Yeah, they can be happy with just losing that scout and gaining the information that B is clear. Very true. Let's see what the CTs can do on this retake. They've got all five players. Cloudy. Not waiting. Good move since there's only one right now. Finds one. A lot of players towards Cat. Let's see if Mixed finds anything else. Got a scout waiting for him. Tags him up a little bit. Doesn't quite find the kill. There it is. Dropped out of 20 HP and manages to get bought as well. Oh, Mix and SVG both able to get some good kills in this one. We've seen them both jump up to nine frags. This is what I was saying before. In order to make this comeback, they need those two bottom fraggers to come alive. They started to do it just a little bit. They're going to need a lot more if they want to come back at 8 to 14. Very true. Two MP9s, though, coming out. This is uh, another T advantage. The bomb is going to be going towards B this round, and we've got a pretty default setup from the counter-terrorists, you know? One playing Cat, one playing in Khan. And it doesn't look yep. like they have a window player this time around, so Screek could use that to his advantage. I'm going to molly one... it just in case. Yeah, one interesting difference is the... the I'd say lack of mid-nades, or it's the lack of T-spawn nades into mid from these Ts. We saw in the previous half, the Ts would throw all of these, like... Window smoke from spawn, get basically free mid control. Instead, it's a lot more scrappy. One for one trade, Nebel finds one on the cloudy as well. Brings it into the hands of the CTs. Yeah, they have their advantage and they have Bob just sitting there, but he gets cleared by Paternal. It's a good flick up and now Scurry lurking in mid. Spots one out, but Syncopate at the same time clears out everyone else. So Scurry's lurk has to turn into a clutch. He's done well to find the first. Bomb in his hand's gonna plant it here on default. One coming in market, one coming in catwalk. He's holding market. Swaps over. Waiting here at bench. First flick is good. Just needs one more. He's dropping his guns around. Wants him to make him wants to make them think that he swapped, but now with the scope, they're gonna know that he's here, but he hears the steps as well. Jiggle peek doesn't work out, and Scurry wins the clutch one versus three. It's doable. This comeback is very doable. CT economy oh, yeah. not looking very good. They're going to have to go for another save. They win more clutches like that. <laughs> I think they've got this clutch, this comeback in the bag. It's not going to be easy. Ooh, look at that. Look at Vexel. He's got his duelies. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well have some fun on these save rounds. That could have been such a nice deagle. Unfortunate. Yep, the Nebel Deagle alive. doesn't come out. Uh, it's interesting. Two ops, they could get rushed down by pistols if they play some awkward close angles. I mean, they're just opting for the default instead. 
but it, it kind of looks like, yeah, both teams are just defaulting right now, waiting for one of the other teams to slip up. And there's not really much peak. It might just be a pretty standard B take here into two. Finally, noise made here onto B site. There's two players holding it. Two on three for now. And they found the end. Axel's duel has been highlighted before. <laughs> now the only Ooh. gun, but he finds a kill! <laughs> the duely master able to get one before finally being traded. And the duelies live on in the hands of SVG. Exactly. SVG knows what's up, knows the superior pistol. Obviously important for that spray down when people rush you with no head armor. Whew. Very big brain. The duely play. Ooh, ah, goodbye, exactly. coming from the counter terrorists right now. Yep, we have a default in Paternal's aggression. Oh, decided against it though. He spotted one, ran away after he knew that he had given him the yep, position. The smoke dissuades him. Mixed, smart to just slowly adjust. Knows that Vexel's trying to dodge his shot, so he just takes his time. Slowly tracks him, gets the kill. There, now, there with... are the T-smokes. <laughs> yep. And with that opening, they can be a little bit more comfortable. Syncopate, though, comfortable playing this one way, gets damage onto Scurry. That would be an important kill if they found it. Instead, it's the kill onto SVG. Matisse decided to activate A after seeing so much in middle. However, A is where Nebel sits and is able to find a first, and Nerve combines with him through the smoke for the second. I'm gonna see, gonna need to see a clutch here from Matisse. Gonna need to. We've seen Scurry do it before, but they have to watch too many angles taken down. And now Mixed, they're the only one to find a kill in this round, and at this point, saving might be their best option. They need to drop guns to players like Cloudy, maybe even Scurry. However, saving up against four CTs and up against match point is a tough decision. Nice and slow, walking up towards mid. Looks like he's going to come into contact with this player and con first. Oh, he decides against it. Last second, Brain tells him, yes, I'm saving. Yeah, I'm assuming that he wanted a pick, but instead wasn't able to find anything. So he just backs up to save. It's a smart decision. That is going to be a match, match point, though. Now they're able to drop over some guns. Mix decides to hold on to that off. They get AKs on everyone else. And Mix can go for some kind of opening pick. Again, wants to get the mid player. You're gonna there swing out one. fast. <laughs> there is no mid player. It's at least information. Ooh, Instead, they aggress. Vexel, who died in mid, wants to take it somewhere else and again takes it to their death. All of the smoke's coming in, and the teeth as well. Good trade coming in. Nebel and Scurry. 3v4 right now. The T's should have sight. The bomb is going to go down towards default. Bomb's got his op. Aiming at one through the smoke. Finds the headshot. Great kill. Cloudy finds Syncopate. And another one as well. Scurry's going down, and Scurry finishing it off. 11-15. Good round for the terrorists. Oh, yeah. Now they've only got four more to come back with. Yes, they did have to give up match point, but they're not giving up hope. Full on AKs out. It's a force up for the CTs. They've got two M4s, two SMGs, one pistol. Still have enough util to stall as well. And stall is what they're going to need to do, as it seems to just be a fast B rush. Flashes flying over top. Cloudy, the first one out to make contact with the bomb, jumps through the smoke with his gun out, swings into the cat player, but gets taken down. However, Eternal's able to find one. They get the trades. It's three on three now. They at least have sight. Let's just toss a gun out of the map. <laughs> I'm assuming it was a Zeus or some kind of pistol. That's what I thought. Mix, though, tosses the gun out, says, all I need is this op, finds the first kill into market. And now they might just want to save their armor because they're going to have nothing into this next round. Nebel, the last one left, picks up the SMG. He 
and looking for a little something, but unless he somehow finds like a miraculous lineup, I doubt it. There's the first. Almost Can't get any more. They almost gave it to him. Yep. But mixed with that op, that op saved from a previous round. Able to find kills in this one. They're they're proven to be important. And they're proven to show that they have what it takes. Three more rounds now needed for these T's. It would be a big comeback. From what, 14 to 8 all the way up to this? Oh, we might see Neeble's brains all over the wall here very quickly. Yep. Bobby with one, finds two. Nerf takes him down very quickly, though. Scurry gets another of the box, finds the trade. This is actually a pretty good save rush so far. Nerf and Boggs still going for this aggressive push, but that Molly's going to delay them. And the bomb will yep. go towards B. Let's they can BCP's keep these guns. Enough. I don't think they're going to let them. Nerve is trapped right now in A main. Yep, 3 HP. Doesn't matter if he peeks an opera pistol, he's going down. Mm. Mix decided against it. He's, you know what? You can have that gun, Nerve. Or maybe not. Maybe not. Nerve going to be walking towards CT, and he might be swinging into an op. He just doesn't know it yet. He, uh, they just decided against it. You know what? We can fight another day. Yep. That's a cool tiger. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh man, they are. I can't believe they're letting Nerf save this. He's very, very low. And I guess they, they just don't want to go for the aggression because the only player close they had was mixed breed Keith, who likely doesn't want to give up that op. He's been able to save it for so many rounds. Very true. Well, we'll see a counter terrorist by now. Hopefully they have Util as well. Two Ops in Og and Vexel opting not to buy anything this round. He wants to go hard with his default P2000. Oh, yes. Or an Op also. But well, you know what? They're just they're flip-flopping everything. A little late of a buy. One player towards mid right now, but Mix manages to find Nebel pretty early in the round. Oh, yeah. Which is very unfortunate for the CTs, who kind of only need to win one more round to end the game. Yeah, I think Mix is sort of activated after that first awkward spray with the Krieg. They've decided, you know, let's just not even spray. Let's just use an op. Yeah, it worked out. Yep, it's also working out for Vaxel, though. Finds the first around triple. Peeks around to try to find more, and now they're just going to drop Util to delay. Their teammates are coming in. Scory, he's, he's in the stairs smoke. He's aggressive. He could find one on the syncopate. And he does. Tries to find the second. Doesn't get it. Bog gets one as well before they go down. Now Nerve, the last one left. They find the first one. Cloudy versus Nerve. Bombs down. Nerve's got a push. He's also got a flash, though. Goes a little bit too high to find anything, but Cloudy's not even there. Instead, playing back, playing safe, but Nerve now has a Molotov. This could be everything. This could be key in helping them clutch it out. They drop it close. But Cloudy swings, gets the kill. No worries, they're able to take down the lit player. Cloudy winning the duel means that now there's only one round standing between the T side and overtime. They have really, the counter terrorists are really letting this one go. I mean, now they've got a, a half buy on the last round against AKs and Ops. The T's couldn't be happier, honestly. Well, we'll see what we can get done from it, though. We've got an entire B rush coming in right now. Smoke goes down, but doesn't quite put out the molly. His two players are brought very low. Bog does get taken, or er, takes down Eternal. And they're going to be jumping right into Syncopate, who's got his Hamas. Bog finding another nerve. Cloudy all of the time. Going down so quickly. What a fast round oh. to end the game. That fast B, they decide to run it in and... Right after that, the B players decide to activate. They decide that, you know, we don't want to give up OT. And they win it just at the end. That's that's going to be the second game of the night there. 16, wow, that one was 14. definitely more exciting. A little disappointing the comeback doesn't work out, but can't always have it, you know? You can't always have it indeed. Well, good second game. Let's see what happens from here on out. Yeah.
All hello, right. Hello. <laughs> yeah, here we are. Back. We're, we're here on the major setup now. Getting pretty hyped. Everybody's picking their players. We start off with JM picking Daxi. Zyra picking Kirby. Kirby? Qu Kirby? Yeah. W w what Corby. I just said. Kirby. Exactly. Jam gets skinned it. Let's see. Langy gets picked. I'm just going back and forth with these. Jam gets bad, Sad Cat. Bad. Ooh, bummer pick. Oh, dang. Yeah. It's going to be <laughs> rough playing with Sad Cat. Yeah. Gotta say, I play with him almost every every day. I just, it, with a name like that, ooh, that's yeah. tough one. Although, I don't know. He's so sad. I would say that he's so sad he spends all his time playing CS, but no, he actually leaves us sometimes for his GF. Come on, Sad Cat. Oh, my goodness. Imagine. Imagine. All right. Well, we get a knife round here. Get to see him stab each other. This will be fun. Yeah, I, w I wonder if it's all going to be mid this time. It looks like it will be. I want to see a yep. lineup so badly. It's, it's the gentleman's for mid. Gentleman's for mid as all the Everybody knows fall. you go mid on knife round, and everybody <gasps> knows that Daxi wins these. Gets the first kill, hard stab for both players. Now it's all about reaction time. Oh, oh he doesn't run fast enough. Instead, Langy takes the fall damage in order to get closer to him and hard stab him. Here comes the stay. Actually, oh. I would swap. No. Oh. No, I, I would like stay if I was team. CT. I'm personally a CT start kind of guy, just because your teammates sort of have to make the pace, or your opponents have to make pace when they're on T side, and it's a lot harder to make pace coming into a game versus when you've already warmed up for a full 15. True. But instead, it well, looks like they opt to swap it up. Got to get that... Uh play a every round on vertigo and we'll you know, see if the cts you know manage to to stack the right site exactly yeah, here comes the a rush as predicted and we do have classic three will a. they walk over the grates not no, a they chance. full run a players will hear them they're ballsy and they're going up quick natural taking a few pot shots but decides to run away let his uh team Oh, looks at that. They've all fallen back to B. I, the map yeah. is confusing me, but... They, I mean, they decide to good. back. I mean, it makes sense to make all that noise, and only now, Exec. Quirby thinking about lining up a smoke. Doesn't line it up. <laughs> Langy misses the jump. <laughs> but now they're able to Exec. I thought we were watching Major. Not Silver 1. Now oh, they have yeah. sight. They're able to plant it to triple stack. Langy finds one before going down to Daxi. And it's just kind of a, a clean sweep there. The CT's found two, but are actually very swiftly traded by Wynax, who gets another two. Daxi finding Wynax. 2v1 gets taken down, and he is ready to fall off the edge of the cliff. Oh, yeah. Bro, he's just chilling. He he's chilling. He's, he's got like, a brew. He's, he's, he's laying up on the edge, having fun. Oh, he's looking for his gun. He's, he's like, I dropped my phone. <laughs> <laughs> hey, anybody down there got it? <laughs> I don't think anybody's going to be able to recover that one. There's no. the first round for the CTs, though. We'll see if they can recover after the pistol loss. Seems like they are forcing up. Deagles, SMGs. An AK. One hero, hero AK on Prism. Looks like they got it dropped over because they also have armor and util. Maybe get a little bit of a Prism cam going very quickly is natural. It's, he's still going to run up, get that early M5. <laughs> Langy's up oh, already. Whoa. He but tries jam. to swing on the player that he heard. Jam's there to trade him, though, from credit card. Woo. Sad Cat kind of just doing his own thing. And this hero AK playing far back doesn't want to get dropped down too low. While Wynax and Kirby are taking all of the shots. Jam finding another one. And there's that AK. Didn't actually find the kill. Wynax stole it with his deagle. But we've got the 2v4 hero AK. Spot one. Can he get the second? Not quite. Goes down. Sad Cat finally helping his team out. Yeah, Thank it's an important goodness. trade there. Sadcat's able to get back into sight, doing the first good thing he's done in his entire life. I'm sorry, <laughs> Sadcat, but I have to do it to you. Now Waynax has at least picked up the AK so that he can fight this one into A. CTs Let's... have spread out. They're likely going to play Intel and then try to rotate in before they take the fight. Looks like we might have Sad Cat the Baiter hanging out on spikes right now. I don't think he's going to peek because, you know, he never, he never peeks. He lets his teammate die first. <laughs> and we'll see 
Yep, there's the swing, and the bait comes through. Doesn't even follow it up exactly what we expected. Oh, that Fire one's like rough Sad from Sad Cat. <laughs> and Wayne X reads that his opponent is going on the flank, so he instead repositions to B. What a read. Oh, this is I think good. it's safe to say we can blame Sad Cat. Exactly. Hashtag blame sad cat. Can we get a blame oh, sad cat in the chat? Yeah. Way next. Oh. Spray out. It's good damage onto Daxi. Drops the molly. Drops the flash. Just delaying for as long as he can. But Daxi is past the molotov. Ooh, he's going to take this fight another day from a different angle. Yep. Both players very, very low. Below 20 HP. This would be a massive clutch from Wynax if he manages to find the kill. Tapping the bomb, spots him running towards him, and he takes oh, down Daxi. Good clutch. It's a, it's a good pre-fire right there. Because he knows clutch? that he has to peek. Holds down mass one. I think it's a good clutch. Sad was cat, it a good clutch or was it a sad cat misplay? No, I think sad cat, he really went for that trade. He just didn't get it fast enough. And it's not because he whiffed, but because the spray just, the transfer. The tap right onto the head, Wynax. Wynax has six kills in well, just two hopefully, rounds. Hopefully he can uh, redeem himself. Exactly. You know, we're, we're shitting on Sad Cat, but he's a, he is a good player. He knows a lot of stuff on Vertigo. He knows a lot of good flashes, a lot of good smokes. We'll see if any of that comes into effect. It won't come into effect this round because they've just got Glocks. I know Lying nothing about Sad Cat. But I have been paid to say bad things about him, so. Mm hmm <laughs> Yep. And you're Thank doing you a great money. job. Right, <laughs> interesting off angle. Zyra finds one, finds a second as well. Langy also SMGs down Sad Cat, meaning that Daxi, who's recovered this AK, is just left to try and save it. As they hear these players running around him, I, I assume that at least Langy will hunt. Wynax as well, but he goes the wrong way, so Daxi can just sort of sit here in the connector. Yeah, he definitely heard one player walking that back that way. There might be a little timing issue coming through from Daxi. Yep, as... he hears Langy go by as well. This just seems like the perfect spot for him to hide. He gets yeah, away no... with an AK. And nobody wanted to clear that. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Yep. Do you think Sad Cat would hit there? You know, I think Sad Cat would have gone to spawn a little bit earlier. He probably would have um, been in a porta potty. Let's be real. You know, I I kind of believe that, but at the same time, Sad Cat's the kind of guy to check the occupied thing on the porta potty. So I don't Aww. know if he would hide in the porta potty. It does say occupied when someone's in there, huh? <laughs> yeah, the little red thing goes up. That is Changes color. Crazy. Poor Langy getting dropped down so much by. Just util to 67, yeah. and Daxi's gonna fall off really quick here. He's on an SMG though, so he's happy to be the whipping boy for his team if it means some map control. Although, map control for the CTs, they have all of a ramp. One X manages to find one and prison the other. That's two CTs down, three. Langy gets the third. JM finally finding a trade as well with Daxi, but Prism takes Daxi down, and it's JM left in the 1v3. The trades were just not coming in. For the CTs. Yeah, Prism goes do, does good to hear Zyra. But Zyra decides to slow it down, meaning... Or JM, excuse me, does good to hear it. Meaning JM has to fight instead into sight, and Kirby takes him out. One to three right now. Terrorists doing pretty well. Actually taking B a lot more than A. Not something I expected. Yeah, they've been able to sort of use this A control in the rounds that they don't. They use mid control very well. They basically just pick two angles, leave the other one open the last time they left A open. Yeah. Kirby throws the fast smoke towards that scaffolding area as Langy's going to try to run up, capitalize off the fact that that position is open so that he can instead watch towards ramp. Flash in, Gindet peeks around. Langy's close position means that he scares them back. Sort of like swatting away flies. They're just swatting away USPs. Ooh, but that deagle still comes oh, through. Damn. That's not a fly. That's a wasp, and it stings him down. DTM also playing close, but his stinger unable to connect with any flesh. Well, let's see if Sad Cat can make anything magical happen here for his team. Prism playing towards mid. Finds him. Sad Cat down very quickly, but just enough for JM to trade him out. 
it's a sure is a good thing Sadcat was found there because I'm not sure if he would have made that trade like you know that last round. Ooh, looking kind of rough. <laughs> but uh, looks saying like he's seeing this uh this saved AK and Daxi is going to save another one. That's a good, good play. Good finds. Good finds. Yep, they've at least got something going into this next round. They should have a solid buy. Jam could even buy up an op and drop over that AK. We we know that they've got enough to win. They've won the pistol. They don't have enough to save that, though. Rest in peace, Daxi. Now Jam gets jumped on the ladder. <laughs> oh, my God. For the savers. We I mean, they have money to buy well. at least, but holy moly, it's got destroyed. Well, you know what? Maybe something will still come out of this buy, even though they don't get any AKs. JM does have an off this round, and it looks like he wants to go for this aggressive peak. The smoke yep. comes down. Yeah, he's smoke gonna be deep from Sadcat. Sadcat's flashes along with the Molly close means they can get a little bit more aggressive ramp. Jam misses the first shot, goes for the second, misses again. Molly's out, finds one finally. The Molly's a oh, little bit. Yeah, shallow. the Molly's shallow. It's That's not on him. The second the Molly lands. <gasps> this is chaos. He does die to fire. He dies to fire eventually. Oh. That was. What the heck? Now Sadcat and Gindet, the one stuck in this site. Gindet looking down, Sadcat's baiting for him. Very, very good play from Gindet here, as we know that Sadcat is the periodical bad baiter. <laughs> but now they're gonna get aggressive. Kirby making some noise. Looks like he just wants to try to find a cheeky kill. Maybe something through that wall. Instead, it's gonna be no contact. They decide to play safe, knowing that they have man advantage. Yeah, we've got one player on spikes and one player towards elevator. It's the same bait position as before, but Wenax is a little bit further behind this time around. Here comes the swing. Corby finds him. Sad Cat going down. Unfortunately, yeah. never finds that kill. Yeah, he's not having the best of a game tonight. But Gindet, on the other hand, able to get good damage onto Wenax. We'll see if he spams that smoke or if the nade's able to take him down. No. And that push in means that he's not ready for Corby's close angle. Now Corby can back up and they have a two on two. Good bunny hop. Oh yes, him staying alive is important because Wayneax is just so lit. Daxi jumps up, does good damage, takes some as well. And now it's just a stall game for the T's and it's kills necessary for the CT's because they don't have a smoke to cover. Now that DTM goes down, Daxi's the only one left. He has a kit, he has the first kill. There's barely any time and he's deciding to stick this. Kirby with the jiggle, now the swing, his flash is perfect to blind him. And he gets that kill. That's he does important. great to stop them getting into the site and to kill them right at the end. Oh man. Sad I'm loving Cat. it. That was a good round. Sadcat is 3 and 6 right now. Not the best that we've seen from him before, but I actually have no idea as that this is the first time I've ever seen him play. It is not looking too good. <laughs> yep. He has a flash though. He's gonna flash his team in it's a flash it blinds the player coming up scaffolding but they don't peek to capitalize off of it instead the majority of the t's are on b they are going into some pistols right now so they could potentially make something big happen lots of d shots get onto zyra he's dropped down to what is that 16 hp and prism finding sad cat and there is a reason they call him sad cat <laughs> he's sad because he keeps dying Jam finds one, not able to swing around for a second, basically gets what's expected of the Deagle, and now they should have money for a buy. Three and seven, Sad Cat's score just keeps on going down and down. Hopefully something good can happen from him soon. Oh, he opts for the FAMAS. We're going to see three and eight this round, I do believe. Oh, it but he's got a... the util set though, smoke deep ramp. Let's see, he got a little bit of a sad, sad cat cam. Yep, Smoke he drops the flash in deep as well. Doing his best as Daxi does his best to spot. He doesn't spot anyone out, but there's actually one in below him. Whatever Zyra unable to get it until then he peeks up. 
catches Daxi on the retreat. Now they have B open and DTM is forced to rotate in. The Jiggle, now the full swing, finds the first, finds the second for DTM. But he's looking for even more. His own flash high could facilitate that, however, Waynex just drops back. It's gonna prompt him for that aggressive position here. Cat yeah. gets one. Yeah, he gets one before getting traded, and that's good intel and a good kill to make sure they maintain the advantage. Now they know that mid is very possible, so JM forced back to watch the boost. Ooh, the bomb is playing a little bit aggressive. The teammate is not there to trade for him. No, he's just putting the bomb on his back, putting the round on his back. If he dies here, that's it. But if he gets the kill, they're in an even two-on-two. -two. His flashes go over towards B, but it seems like it may be a fake. Or it could be a fake of a fake. Wang Axe finally coming in. Let's see if he manages to spot DTM. It doesn't look like he's going to. Oh, oh the man. goblin angle comes in. DTM sitting in the corner finally gets that kill. Now he's repositioned. Now his spray is good. Lots and of now the CTs have a second round. That was Ooh. DTM's first four kills of the game. Yeah, we were we were talking about Sad Cat the whole time because I like to make fun of him, but it was DTM who was doing rough up there until he was able to hold down B site. Well, fortunately, he ties Sad Cat now, meaning Sad Cat falls lower on the leaderboard. <laughs> Sad Cat's deep smoke gonna come in, lands all the way back here at ramp, and the peak is good from JM. Gindad finds one as well before getting traded, and JM over aggressive, so he gets wall banged out. Ooh, Daxi here quick and Sad Cat baiting once again from Spikes. Very predictable yeah. at this point. However, it looks like it's a necessary bait. There's, there's smokes in everywhere else. It's the only position that he can play, but is unable to support his teammate and goes down. Saw so DTM get a 4k last round. Can he get a 3k to clutch this one? <laughs> oh, can't even find one. Headshot by Wayne X finishes it. Now we just get pistols. Are they going to buy up? They're going to buy up pistols. It's a smart decision to even out their economy. Deagles, P250, 5-7. They're just going to... going to say they're going to go for some aggression. The aggression that beat at A ramp and mid. The A players immediately get shut down. Mid player gets forced back. They should have A site control. Yep, and they bring Bomba there as well. That should be the round. Maybe they could get a deagle kill. Maybe they could pick up a gun. JM fires one off. Tries to sneak in close to play that smoke like a ninja. But Langy finally takes him down. DTM and Daxi, the last two players left. Pistols up on the flank. Wayne Axe ready for it. Takes a moment to react, but now he gets it. Daxi with one clean deagle shot. He's going to turn around to the other side. Waynax playing the head glitch angle and finishes him off with a wall bang. Daxi unable to find anything more as the T's get eight on the board. It is looking like a T-sided game right now for this major game. But you know yeah, what? We'll, we'll see what happens. It is yeah, they've long. already won the half. Which, I mean, that's interesting so far. We'll see if the CT's, I mean, if they get seven to eight, they'll be very happy. But I, it's going to be tough. I do like the amount of B pressure that we're seeing. Like, they, they have all of this, like, A pressure that's, a uh, oh my goodness, DTM just falls right into one next face. Anyways, they've got a lot of uh, B pressure, a lot of A pressure, and they do these, these nice rotates that really just throw the CTs off. But, uh, lots of, lots of util being thrown towards B. Like, once again, look at all, they have three on B and only one on A, and they're rotating so fast. One player in towards mid, that's the only A player. And they're just going to be running up yeah. on the site. Get it. Man, this is to find one while yeah. blind. If this op can find picks for the retake, that will be important. So far, they're smoked off. They the could CT's go up. for a kill through it. They're right below. 
He doesn't know, though. He doesn't know. Oh, they're also boosting up over the side, and that's going to be the kill. Another oh. one for Gindet top box. There it is. Sad cat and Dax, you find the next two. And that's the site cleared out. A simple retake. They're, they give up A because they stack over to B off of that utility. But I'm just going to say it. It seems like the lack of utility then. All they had was two smokes. They try to get aggressive, but they don't have flashes or anything. So they just boost up. And getting up on top of that box means they get immediately shut down by Ginda. Got some good buys going in, though. Oh. Both teams, finally. We'll see a fair fight. Uh, jam around the smoke that was thrown. Landing in the top of the scaffolding area. Just decides to back because they've given up all of top of ramp. Gindet flashes high, peeks out. Now peeks up aggressive again, but forced back. JM also tagged on the wall bang. This is where Gindet needs to activate again. Prism finds the first. Spray onto the second doesn't get it, but instead they kill Daxi. <laughs> One through the smoke in debt. His op picks could make another retake possible. But instead, all of the CT is getting picked off. Langy and Kirby peek into the sides. They finish it off. And that's nine for the T's now. They were not happy with how the last round turned out on that retake. And they just decided, you know what? Who needs to plant the bomb? We can just rush him and kill him. <laughs> exactly. Now we're going to have to just watch out because, well, at this point, what I'm very curious about is... One, if we're going to see another 10-5 half. And two, if the CTs can at least get kills like that, JM does with the Deagle. If they get those kind of kills, they can get their morale going. And that kind of momentum is what they need coming into a half on T once things swap around. Cyrus kill into the site. Misses on the second, but at least spots out where they are. They can aggress with this op, however, even as they're doing that aggression on B, the real take is over on A. Guns can be recovered here, but there's so much money on the CTs and so few rounds left to be played in the half that it almost seems like they'd want to go for this. But for also going for this is Langy, full sending it over towards JM, gets the tag through the wall and forces them away. Oh. Daxi taking it down. The bomb is down. It's a two. Oh my goodness. It is now. <laughs> JM! What the oh heck? My... What is happening right now? Where they is... have no kits, but Waynax is all the way in middle. They've hunted for so long. If they just stick the bomb, they have this. But will they even realize it? No. Instead, they're just going back to save and they're going to meet Waynax and realize the mistake they've made. That is quite the blunder. Oh, it's a blunder, but they couldn't have known it was a blunder until after this round. It's going to be unfortunate when they watch this one back. They watch the VOD, but at least they've saved one gun over. They've got plenty of money. They're going to try to go for these last two rounds to make it at least seem possible for a comeback once side swap. Got a lot of AKs here for the T's and a lot of B pressure as well. So they're Daxi already past Daxi's molly. Spots him out close, but can't get the spray into Waynax. Instead, it's a good entry. DTM's already here over from middle. He sprays down the first. Spots out a second as well. There's a smoke in his face. He decides to spray through it, but instead gets sprayed back by Zyra. Sadcat finds an entry. Gonna flash high. It's the retake they need. Three on three. Zyra up top. Sadcat with a second flick as well. Creeping around. Here's the player in the smoke, but Corby goes through and gets a kill onto his teammate. Langy as well, and now it's Sadcat left. He's found two kills into this one, and now he's in a one-on-one. -on -one. Langy's so low, but so is Sadcat. Meaning that Langy can clutch it out in the one-on-one. -on -one. A good attempt a in the retake. I had a lot of faith in Sadcat that round, and I'm disappointed. So. Oh, he hit some good shots. Now he's tied for second top frag on his team, but his team's just having a rough time. They buy up into this one. Not great guns, but at least they have three M4s and good utility. Maybe they'll be able to take some kind of map control and get a stack that's actually good going. 
instead of having one player on site immediately get rushed down by five T's. Prism. One kill with the AK onto Sadcat's aggression. Looks like he wanted to be the one to find that map control. Now JM also going down. These T's just holding a default to perfection. Quirby finally gives up one. Daxi in response. They can just wait. Gindet can just creep around the smoke. He's playing it like a one-way. Langi does not seem ready, so Gindet finds the first. Bray as well. Prism, who was already lit up previously, gets taken down. And Gindet pushes forward, but Wainax is already passed. He swaps to the op, but it's actually DTM who finishes him off. I really Four thought rounds. that was T-Round. <laughs> they at least get something at the end due to Gindet's multi-kill on A. But it's going to be tough. I, I, saw, I saw that those early picks, man, and I was for sure like, oh, okay, this is just, you know... Another T round, and then uh, Gindet actually yeah. really pulled off something magical there to, to save his team for the four, fourth round. Mm -hmm. And now we swap up, now we're on pistols, and now it's down to see, hey, T's, can you get something going? Can you make this comeback? Here's that good old-fashioned A rush, and it does not look like it's that much of an A stack. One player is a little bit towards mid. Lang oh, but here come the rotates. It. Good job, Sadcat, finding one. Fantastic from him. Corby taking yep. a few shots. I'm real proud of you, buddy. <laughs> Not quite connecting with anything. One player is already up. Side hall. Corby oh, JM not connecting. Shots. Finally. Sad, a second for him. DTM finding another, and it's just Waynax left in the 1v4, who is... Looks like he's on the flank here. He's got his USP. One player watching it. Looks like it's Sadcat. Gets shot in the leg, runs away, the position is called out, and all of the T's now know where to look. We'll see no what Waynax kit. Do. Seems like this should not be a clutch, but maybe some picks for Waynax. I really like the way that the T's were able to just sort of slow down on their hit. Isolate those fights. Waynax isolates that one onto JM Dodds. Gonna find Ooh, another one. <laughs> he can look into this. Sadcat oh, just running away though, he knows the time is low, he gets taken down, Waynax not ready for DTM's position. Great attempt. Yeah, it got a little bit scary there. Still with no kit, there shouldn't have been time. But Waynax is gonna feel good about those shots that he hit. Now the buy up comes through. CT is with nothing in it though. They've got $300 invested on two players. Trying to get aggressive mid. They have one player boosted up. Will JM be ready for it? Instead, it's his teammate who spots it out. JM getting pistoled down. Gindet also lit. Prism going aggressive for it. Finds it. They have two guns now and a man advantage. Their Good only dude. problem is if bomb goes down, they're not going to have a kit. And right now, the T's don't have any sight control. They don't have anything. And they're going to slowly go into B, it seems like. However, as they do that, the CTs should understand it and rotate. Though DTM smoke might keep them stacked A. Looks like literally every single player here on the T side is going to be running up B now, as it is a free site. Hopefully they recognize this as they have not been killed quite yet. Smokes are going to go down. And they now realize, oh my goodness, our bait worked. Nobody's here. That's sight for free. Let's see how aggressively they play it. Daxi runs out spots too, but gets taken down. Doesn't know which one to aim at. Well, that and, aggression uh, also gives yeah. over a rifle. There's Sad Cat going down as well. Up left to DTM, who finally falls to Prism. And that's a great retake from the counter terrorists. Uh, those rounds against pistols are the ones that you cannot give up if you want to get this comeback. And it's just unfortunate for the T side. They got a plant down. They're going to have money to potentially force this one if they want to continue the force by wars. However, with two rifles saved over, the CTs have a very solid buy. And they are Sad Cat's lot, forced so. up DTM. They're going in. Daxi gets a deagle, likely just saving for an AWP. Prism's molly flash combo means yeah, that he's smoke. at least able to cut off middle. However, at the same time, the T's are up fast into A. They have all this control pretty much for free. 
they do lose the mid player. Gindet going down. And that means that they're going to decide. All right, boys, it's now or never. They could be on the flank, so we have to take A. Tagkick gets one on the entry, but it's two for the CTs. A quick two more. And that's it. The takes shut down. The force by shut down. Economy in shambles. 13-5. The CTs look to take this one pretty dominantly. Langy actually had a very, very good position there, hiding behind that smoke. Managed to pick up two with it. Oh, yes. No buy from the T's at all. All Glocks, and it looks like it's going to be a, a full mid-rush. You know, I like the fact that they feel confident enough that they know that they need they need the real guns to get this. They're not just force buying over and over. However, at the same time, it would be nice if they had some Zeagles or something in this one. Instead, it's just the Glocks. Shut down Langy's flank. I wasn't even looking at it, and they weren't looking either. Now they hear the last one on B. A Molotov over top. It doesn't end up blooming. However, they don't even need it. All they need is their guns. They take them down. Langy getting a ton there in mid. And now the buy up. This is looking to be the final buy round for the T's if they lose it. Only a two round buffer between them and losing this entire game. CT is looking to just keep this 2-1-2 default setup, and the T's want to replicate their success in the previous out mid. By success, I mean the map control, because they didn't get any kills. Hoping that they can do better now with AKs. Oof. For JM taken down immediately. He just can't find openings. This is rough. Good boost. Might be able to find something here. Yeah, Kirby looking over. Taxi's coming up short. If he gets all the way up short... That aggression could spell disaster for the boosted players. However, until then, they just get to look over this area for free. Daxi's molly now means that they can creep up. Sadcat playing safe, the top of his head visible before he falls back. Flash high and he's just gonna run away. Daxi swings out short and the player on the bottom of the boost is ready for it. Gindet at least able to get one consolation frag in middle. But it's looking hopeless. Gindet jumps up over the side. Shot baited out from Zyra Reflex. He backs up, misses another one, but Langy's there. Sadcat gets the trade, Sadcat gets the second. And now he's in a one on two. Now he has the B site under control, but will he know it? Oh, he instead. Doesn't. Instead, he's going all the way to A. I kind of like this. Now's his time to impress me. Oh, yes. House is in time to impress the entire stream. My I don't even know if he knows this one is live, but... My, my expectations Ooh, could not be exciting. lower, Sad Cat. Let's see it. Oh, he's got sight. He's got 10 seconds to plant the bomb, and it will be able to go down safely. With that, the CTs clear all of B, and they spot no one, so instead they're going to come back over towards A. Looks like they want to group together here and go A main. Sad Cat's just looking for the pick, but now he knows where both of them are. Two sets of footsteps, two people left. Yep, his flash into stall, and now he just backs. Looks like he's gonna go heaven to try to find this first kill. Kind of gives away his position. Oh, the There's jump the... gives away the noise. The smoke on bomb is unfortunate, and he's unable to take out Waynax. It was a good attempt, but the util left on the CTs mean that they send Sad Cat scrambling, and they send themselves to match point. And that's why we call him Sad Cat. I don't know why he would plant there and then go heaven, but you know what? No, it is he what had it is. no map control. It was unfortunate. All he had was mid because that was the only success they found in the round. He did have some util. I wish he had used it to to get himself a better position, but he just yep. used it to give himself away. <laughs> uh, unfortunate for Sad Cat. He's still doing good though. Let's see if he can replicate that multi-kill that he got in the previous round in this one to open up a site spamming Ooh, down gets a tag on the wall bang langy at 5 hp and langy decides to push forward finally taken down by dtm and this means that they should be able to get into a site oh. kirby flashed sad cat flash as well gets taken down dtm coming through the smoke kirby not ready for it but he adjusts in time 
That leaves it all on Daxi. The bottom frag has to do it all. He's got an AK. He's got decent positioning. He's got one kill. Lock. Now he Coming creeps through. close. He hears one behind. But the slow walk into Zyra means that that's all she wrote. That's the game. GG well played. There it goes. Whew. Well, you know what? Pretty now. good. Sad cat. Unfortunately, you're about as sharp as a marble, but I loved watching you play. Yeah, he did. He actually had some pretty good kills. He came alive a little bit more there at the end. Very, very true. Hopefully he doesn't come watch this VOD because he's going to think I am an asshole. <laughs> yep. Well, he already knows that I am an asshole. Okay. However, so... this asshole's going to have to sign out. We're going to have to say goodbye because that's all. Those three matches, they were solid. They were tight. Last one, not exactly going the distance, but still, it was a fun one. I really enjoyed casting with you, Vero. I really enjoyed the observation from Step Bro, and I really enjoyed having everyone here to watch. So, hopefully you guys keep tuning in, and we'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.